Have you ever wanted to get somewhere in style? Have you ever wanted to get somewhere fast? Have you ever wanted a vehicle to impress the ladies? Ew, oh my god, there's a bug! Ew, 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 ew. Well, look no further. Wait, guys. What was with those last two? Who wrote this? This isn't accurate at all. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Scrap Mechanist channel. This week we are doing the showcase on my Scorpion. Now, if you've been with me since the beginning and you saw my very first creation montage video, then this might look familiar to you. This is actually one of the first builds that I built in the game. This is the first walker I ever built. Now, before everyone gets on my case, which you probably will anyway, I know I made a huge mistake, and this scorpion only has six legs, three on each side. And I realize now, a little bit too late, that scorpions are supposed to have eight legs, four on each side, and that does not include the claws. Now, it's not entirely my fault, and I'm going to show you why. Look, this is the reference picture I used straight from Wikipedia. This picture is what I use to model this scorpion after, and if you look at the legs, count them with me, one, two, three on this side, and then the claws. And that is what I used to build this. So I was pretty sure that this picture showed six legs on this scorpion, not eight. But if you look just a little bit closer, you'll see this little culprit right here. Apparently that is the fourth leg on that side, and I did not look that close when I was building this, apparently. So, I finished it, and then somebody said, it's missing two legs, and I was like, no, it, it's not. Look, look at the picture. There's clearly scorpions have six legs. And they're like, no, dude, it's an arachnid. It's, it's, it's like a spider. They're supposed to have eight legs. So I googled, I kept googling, and I was like, Six-legged scorpions, somebody please tell me that six-legged scorpions exist, because I'm not changing this thing. And I, I, I couldn't find any actual uh, reference for six-legged scorpions, so... I have made the first ever six-legged scorpion. In Scrap Mechanic, maybe. I don't know. I'm just trying to justify my mistake here, guys. I don't, I don't want to change anything. It works, it does what I wanted it to do. And, uh, it looks, it looks cool while it does it. Now, what's different with this walker from a lot of other walkers I see is the legs are all, um, different from each other. So a lot of walkers, um, I've seen a lot of spiders and I've seen a lot of different kinds of walkers in which the legs are sticking straight out and they're all pretty much, um, the same structure and they're just set at different, um, set at different angles away from each other, and the programming is just the same thing, but with different starting points. But with this, each of these three legs on each side has a different program and has a different structure. Uh, you can see the front leg is shorter than the middle leg, which is shorter than the back leg, and you can see the back leg is doing a pushing motion, while the two front legs are doing pulling motions. So it was, it was complex to figure out how to program it, and I tried my best to model it after um, the way a scorpion uses its legs. It's just kind of slow. Uh, it also has some claws that uh, function as well. And of course, my favorite part is the tail, which uh, shoots forward like that at a blistering pace of like eight blocks a second. Okay, so you guys have seen what it does. Now let's take a look at what, uh, what the webbing looks like here. So, I mean, this is a pretty small creation, to be to be quite honest. It's not too, it's not too in depth. Um, it's just the legs were just really hard to program because every single joint moves differently from all the other ones. Um, and of course, both sides have different starting points. So you can look at some of the programming. This is just the back leg right here, um, and actually, that's not too bad. Uh, it doesn't look too bad at least, but to figure out that this was the right configuration was the hard part. I mean, you got your starting points, um, there's some fine-tuning going in there. Here is our two front right legs. Um, so yeah, it was just the programming was probably the more time-consuming part and figuring out where I needed to put the bearings. So it just wasn't really an easy process. The tail was kind of, was, uh, kind of a fun thing. Uh, you can see how that was formed. 
just using joints gradually as you go up there, finally to the end. And I liked how I like how it turned out with the uh, with the stinger there. The claws are pretty pretty straightforward, uh, and this was made like way before the weld tool. I actually think I made this before the painting tool even existed. So I was excited to be able to paint it black once uh, once the painting tool came out. All right, so let's have some fun with this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you've seen it walk and you've seen it turn. Now let's see how it handles our opponents over here, our deadly foes that I have built to take on the Scorpion. Have you been looking for a way to demolish your foes to show your haters who's really the boss here? Well, look no further. This is the answer to all of your problems. Just hop in this thing and watch your enemies cower in fear. Just as long as they're not walking away at a slightly brisk pace. And make sure that they're standing six inches in front of your face. And then watch as they are vanquished right in front of your eyes. Make sure they stand four inches in front of your face. And then watch as they are vanquished right in front of your eyes. Boop. And you better hope they stay down. Because with your deadly poison, they will never. Really? Even our bigger foe over here is no match for. Our pincers of doom! As long as he doesn't walk away, we will be at him in no time, and then he'll be sorry as our pincers come and. pince. Uh, and pinch. <sighs> guys, gotta stop with the false advertising. All right, guys. So it's not it's not very functional. Okay, it's just it's supposed to it's supposed to just look like a scorpion and like look cool. Okay, it's not like it's a survival vehicle. It's a scorpion. All right. Well, it's a six-legged scorpion. All right. It's not like a real scorpion. It's only got six legs. You just, this wasn't easy, all right? Now, let's have some fun with this thing. So, uh, since this creation doesn't really do that much other than, uh, walk, I wanted to add a little bit more to this video, so I figured we'd take a little bit of time, um, as, as my friend at Scrap Mechanic Labs likes to say, uh, needs more rockets. Put them on max power. And now our scorpion... doesn't... Do that much more. All right, we need more rockets. There we go. That's something. <laughs> All right. Uh oh. And this this is where this is where the world will freak out if we get flying scorpions, guys. If scorpions evolve to fly, um, I'm moving to another planet. All right. This this thing is not. This is not how this thing is intended to work, but it's amusing nonetheless. Now that looks- oh, that looks fun. Alright, now we're gonna try a little bit of target practice. Now that we have a, um, a very fast-moving scorpion. Is that guy still up? Alright, good. Wait, is he- alright, he's- he's not falling. Alright, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and put our pincer- I mean, our, uh, our stinger straight ahead here. And we're gonna aim for this guy, see what happens. Our foes cannot stand up to this scorpion- oh my god! <laughs> Alright, I would consider that a bit more deadly than the, um, a non-flying scorpion. So, um, confirmed, flying scorpions, rocket scorpions, are more deadly than non-rocket scorpions. As you can clearly see by the um, deadly effect it's had on on our our friend here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the scorpion. I hope you guys did enjoy this creation. Uh, it was a very very cool creation for me. I, I enjoy the way it looks a lot. Um, I just wish the the controllers could be programmed to be a little bit faster so I could get it to actually walk fast on its own. But uh, once again, if you guys did enjoy this video please hit that like button, and if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button, and of course, leave a comment down below. Let me know what else you guys want to see. Are there more creations in the uh, in my montage that you haven't seen yet? 
Are there other challenges that you want me to try to do? Check out my challenge series to see uh, what I mean by that if you haven't seen it already. And thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time on the Scrap Mechanist channel.